What's up YouTube, how are you doing today? Chana D, your techno dad here, and in today's video we'll be checking out the SVS Ultra Bookshelf Speaker System, and we're gonna get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. Now if you're new to the channel and you wanna learn about 4K, home theater and audio products, and how to set them up properly, you should consider subscribing because I'm here to help. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I do a live stream to answer your questions or when the next video gets released. Well, now that all that housekeeping's out of the way, let's get into it. So first things first, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna take this moment to thank SVS for sending this over. Thank you guys so much. This is awesome. So today we're talking about their Ultra Bookshelf speaker system. It's a 5.0 system and it costs $24.99 for the five speakers. Now, if you were to buy them separately, you would be spending about $150 more. Now when you get the system, you still will need a subwoofer. And if you go with their 1000 series line, you know, um, SB1000, PB1000, that'll bring everything, your total, to about $3,000. Or you can step it up to the 2000 series and then your total will be around 3,300. I went ahead and asked SBS to send me the PB4000 subwoofer, oh yeah to pair with this ultra bookshelf system. So effectively, the 5.1 system will cost about $4,400. Now I'm gonna do a totally different video on the PB4000 itself. So what are we doing talking? Let's go upstairs, get these things out of the box and check out some specs. Oh yeah. All right, so we got three big boxes here, but first let's get these ultra bookshelves out of the box. Now I've chosen to go with black oak veneer as the black gloss looks great, but they are very reflective and a bit distracting to me during the daytime or when there are lights on. The gloss black is not so good in my living room environment. The Ultra Bookshelves have a frequency response of 45 hertz to 32 kilohertz, and the recommended amplifier power is between 20 and 150 watts. On the front, we have a six and a half inch driver, which is made from a glass fiber composite. And the tweeter is a one inch aluminum dome tweeter. Now this is the same tweeter they use in all their speaker lines so that everything kind of timbre matches, which is really cool. Now, in case you guys were wondering, the tweeter to woofer crossover is set to 2000 Hertz. On the back, there is a 1.7 inch wide flared rear firing port. And below that, we have two sets of gold plated five way binding posts. So you have the option to buy amp or buy wire these speakers if you choose. I personally don't, I just roll with them normal. All right, next let's check out the Ultra Center. The Ultra Center has the same frequency response as the Ultra Bookshelves, from 45 hertz to 32,000. And recommended power is a little bit higher. It's from 20 watts to 225 watts. On the front, we have dual six and a half inch woofers, a four inch mid-range driver, and the same one inch aluminum dome tweeter. Now the woofer to mid-range crossover is set to 500 Hertz, and the mid-range to tweeter crossover is set at 2.2 thousand. Now on the back, we have dual gold-plated five-way binding posts right in the center. Again, you have the option to buy amp or buy wire if you like. And on either side, we have two 1.7 inch wide flared ports. Now on to the ultra surrounds. We get a little more hardware with the ultra surrounds as they give you mounting hardware to wall mount these puppies. On the front, you can easily see we have two baffles. So there are two tweeters and two woofers on each surround speaker. Frequency response is 58 hertz to 32,000 hertz. The tweeters are the same one inch aluminum dome tweeter and the woofers are five and a half inch in diameter.
and the crossovers are set to 2000. On the back at the top we have the three screws for using the wall mounting hardware included in the box. At the bottom we have dual five-way binding posts, but unlike the Ultra Bookshelves and the Ultra Center, when you split these binding posts, you actually split the speaker into two sections. This is what SVS calls duet. So if you are limited in space like I am, you can connect surrounds to the front baffle and surround backs to the rear baffle. I haven't tried that yet, but I'll give it a listen later on. All right guys, so I'm pretty sure you're probably wondering, Technodad, what do you think of the speakers? Well, I think they're great. Now, this is a 5.0 system. I have not plugged in the subwoofer yet, yet. I wanted to uh, just kind of run these speakers for the last like three weeks and kind of get them broken in a little bit, you know, let them open up. So I've been playing a whole bunch of different content on there, you know, from EDM to classical to jazz. Uh, my wife watched a bunch of TV on this system. And you know, first thing that she told me is like, hey, why do I have to keep turning the volume up? And normally, you know, when she's watching TV, when I had my clips set up in there, she was watching TV with the volume around 72, 75. Now we go to like 83, 84. Now this is normal because the clips are a little bit more sensitive than the SVS. And that's something that you might need to take into consideration. So I went ahead and plugged in the Outlaw Model 5000. So I know that I've got 125 watts pumping to each speaker. Now when I did that, reran Odyssey and all that, everything sounded a lot better. Like they were like pumping. And I was, I'm actually, DJing next Monday and I got an hour and a half set and I've been auditioning tracks on the bookshelves and <laughs> wow uh, those things are kicking and I don't have a sub attached okay I don't have a sub attached I've been running all five like multi-channel stereo I've run been running uh, just the bookshelves as stereo it's been a great experience the lower sensitivity is not a huge uh, detractor I'd say when you give them enough power to start cranking it, wow, these things sound pretty great. So don't let that lower sensitivity and you needing more power be too much of a factor here. The speakers sound great. I'm getting a lot of great clarity in the mids and the highs and I will be making some audio demos and if you guys want a specific song or scene in a movie that you want me to uh, demo with the system, if it's a movie, I'll probably have the sub hooked up so you guys can kind of get the feeling. I know it's tough through a YouTube video. But anyway, just leave them down in the comments. Now, there's one thing I'm sure a lot of you are going to be asking, why didn't you go with the Ultra Towers? Everybody's got the Ultra Towers. Well, here's the situation. The Ultra Towers have a side firing 8 inch woofer. Now, in my space, that does not make sense at all. Like it would just be hitting like one of my sliding glass doors and it's it's too crowded. That, that's really kind of the situation. In my room, it's too crowded. And since I've had these bookshelf speakers up, I'm like, man, I think I need to switch back to some bookshelves and go with a bigger sub instead of having my towers. So, I don't know. I'm pretty torn about that situation and I gotta figure that out. If you're in the market for a 5.0 or 5.1 speaker system that's between like you know, $3,000 to $4,000, definitely give this a look. Uh, like I said before, I'm gonna do a full review on the speaker system as a 5.1, which is gonna be the Ultra Bookshelf speaker system with the PB4000. And don't forget, SVS, if you buy directly from them, you get a 45-day in-home trial, which is really cool, so you can actually test it out and see what you like. I'll put links all down in the description, and if you guys have any questions, don't forget to uh, ask them there or on whichever social media you guys like to use the most. Uh, I guess that wraps it up. All right, if you guys like this video, go ahead, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dad. I'll see you next time.